okay in this video we will solve the problem number 7.6 the problem is enclose a 4 by 4 ram of figure 7.6 in a block diagram we have to first enclose this ram circuit of figure 7.6 so the ram circuit of figure 7.6 is this one okay so here we have a 4 by 4 ram here we have four rows of binary cell and four columns of binary cell that's why it is called as a 4x4 RAM it has four input data lines and it has four output data lines okay here we have this output data lines these are the two address input lines A1 and A0 here we have one memory enable input line then we have one read or write bar signal so operation of the circuit will be read or write depending on this read or write bar signal so here we can say that we have these two inputs for address lines one enable input one read and write input and we have a 4-bit input data lines and we have 4-bit parallel output data lines now let us enclose the circuit within a block diagram so here we will draw a block 4 by 4 RAM suppose this is a 4 by 4 RAM so it will have one read or write signal another input is a0 address line another input is a1 address line okay these are the three input lines there will be one enable input here so here we'll define the enable input of this ram so in the case of array logic design what we do we apply the logic like this so what we'll do we will sort all this and apply here it will be applied here so this line is used for array logic symbol so here we have three parallel lines this symbol means a line with a cut here so this line represents parallel input lines so how many parallel input lines we have three inputs so here we'll write three we will have four input data lines that will be represented by this four input okay this is the array logic symbol next we have four output lines so here we'll write four so we have four input lines here and four output lines here so in the question it is given that assuming three state outputs construct a 8 by 8 memory using four number of 4 by 4 ram units so this is one ram unit so we have to draw another tree and using this four number of four by four ram we have to design the 8 by 8 ram so here also we'll have 4 by 4 ram random access memory so here also we'll have a 3-bit input one is the read or write signal and another two are the input address lines here also we'll have data input line here we'll have four input lines okay this cross means here we have multiple lines and this four represents here we have four input lines we need to have a 8 by 8 memory so there should be 8 inputs so here we'll have 8 number of inputs and these inputs this msb will be brought towards here the most significant 4 bits will be applied here and the least significant 4 bits are applied here so here we have this 8 input data lines here we have drawn 2 ram units here also we'll have one enable input here we'll have four output lines okay because it is a 4 by 4 m here we have four input lines four output lines for controlling all these eight inputs we have to define one another address line okay address input so we have to apply a2 a0 a1 and so we have to apply now here a2 we'll use here a not get and after this not get we'll apply here the a2 complement input a2 complement so here also what we'll do we will connect this a2 here so here also we'll have a2 bar so we have drawn here two 4x4 four four ram units we have to draw another two so this is one 4x4 four four ram and 4x4 four four ram units here we'll have one so this is three input here also we'll have a three input line so here also we'll have three inputs they are one is the read and write another are a0 and a1 similar to this now here also we'll have one enable input 
here also we'll have enable input in the upper stages we have applied the a2 complement but in the lower units what we'll do we'll use the a2 directly okay so connect this two and also give a connection here at this e enable input so what will happen here we'll have a2 and here also we'll have a2 okay here we'll have four input line here also we'll have a four input data line okay so this is a array logic symbol with a cut here we have represented here this is the array logic symbol we will connect this input data line to the input of this lower 4x4 RAM so here we'll also have a 4 output line so in this side also we have to apply this so bring this 4 inputs here and connect to this 4 input line ports so this is 4 so here we'll have to connect this so this output will be connected with this one okay here we'll have four output lines the four outputs of the second ram unit okay this will be connected to this fourth ram unit output okay so here we'll connect here and here we'll have a four bit data okay now we have to make this eight bit data so bring here this four data outputs will be the msb here and this four data outputs will be the lsb here so here we'll have the four most significant bits and here we'll have the least significant bits so here we'll have a 8 bit data output so this is a 8 bit data output lines so this a2 represents the most significant bit of the address here we have this enable inputs so in the question it is given that the memory chip should have an active low chip enable signal that means whenever it gets a zero this memory units will be activated if this enable units get a zero this will be activated so whenever we have a2 equal to zero what will happen this a2 complement will be one so in the first case these two ram units will have a one value at this enable inputs so what will happen these two ram units will be disabled because these two ram units need a active low signal but here we have a active high signal at this enable inputs that means for a2 equal to zero these two ram units will be deactivated and what will happen whenever a2 is zero this zero is connected here so here we have a active low signal and here also will have a active low signal at the same time so these two ram units will be activated so what will happen this eight input data lines the most significant four bits will come here and through this path it will come to the input of this lower ram unit so if it is a write operation the input data will be written into this 4x4 ram unit similarly for the least significant four bits this ram unit is activated and this one is disabled or this is not enabled so this least significant four data inputs will come here and through this line it will be input to this 4x4 RAM unit so if it is a write operation for least significant 4 bit data will flow towards this side and it will be provided to this lower 4x4 RAM unit okay so what will happen it will store the input data value so in the case of read operation whatever be the content stored here it will be not having any connection because they are disabled whenever we have a2 equal to 0 so for a2 equal to 0 during the read operation you need not to consider these two ram units because they do not have an active low signal at the enable inputs here at the same time these two ram units are activated so what will happen the content of these two ram units this ram unit will give the four most significant bit through this path here and this ram unit will have the least significant four bits through this path so what will happen we'll have a 8-bit data read out here when a2 is equal to 1 this a2 bar will be 0 and here also we have a2 bar so these two ram units will be activated and whenever we have a2 equal to 1 these two ram units will have a active high signal at this enable input so what will happen these two ram units will be disabled so these two are supposed cut off okay and only these two ram units are operating now so whatever be the data input suppose if it is the right operation so what will have the most significant four bits will enter here and the least significant four bits will enter here so what will happen they will enter this circuit and if it is a right operation they will be stored into this 4x4 ram and here also 
this list significant for data inputs will be stored here. So if it is a read operation, so what will happen now? If it is a read operation, this two also activated because we have a two equal to one now. Okay. So whatever be the content available here at this output, this four most significant bit will come this way. This most significant four bits will come here. Okay. That is the content of this four by four RAM will come through this path and this will follow this path and through this line it will come to the output and it will constitute the four most significant bit of the eight output lines and similarly here also the content of this 4x4 RAM that is the least significant four bits the least significant four bit content will come out through this path and it will follow this path and through this line it will come here and through this line it will be available here that means these four bits okay these four bits will constitute the least significant output data lines okay so what will happen we'll have the read operation so this is the design of a 8 by 8 memory unit thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you